Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We are here in the depths, sort of a bit to the north of where Mount Laneru would be. Mount Laneru is over here, we're up here. Underneath the Lodrum headland. And as I said at the end of the previous episode, plan right now is to go over this way find this treasure. That's the first thing. And I've decided that afterward we are going to go up to Terrytown and finally take care of some business there. There's a side quest that Hudson gave us a long time ago to help his daughter do something. It was either Hudson or his wife Ronson who gave us that side quest. But anyway, they want us to help their daughter do some kind of uh, Gerudo style walkabout and so we're gonna go and help her out with that and then see what we get for it oh and there's supposed to be a uh, another shrine here because that's where a light route was down below And also one there next to Knuckle Island. Should mark that. Already have that one marked. And already found that shrine. Alright, so yeah, we're all set. Now, where's the stuff to build the air bike? There it is. Yeah, I have seen lately some people online complaining that oh everyone just built that air bike they should try to be more inventive and i have tried to be more inventive and every time i've done that it's utterly failed to work so yeah i'm i'm not an engineer and uh i'm just gonna have to admit that i have come to terms with that I'm not an engineer or an inventor. I'm just going to have to accept that reality and do the best I can with what I've got. So what has this person got? Some kind of spear. Is that a perfect Zora spear? That's what that looks like. Yeah. A perfect undegraded Zora spear. Huh. How am I doing for weapons? Uh, doing pretty good for weapons, actually. Well, let's make the attempt to pick it up. So I can at least, you know, identify it. Wait, what was that about when it gets wet? Something something when it gets wet. This spear is a Zora's weapon of choice. It's made from a special metal and is used by the Zora for both fishing and protecting home. It yields high attack power when it gets wet. Okay. I mean, what's that mean? When I get caught in the rain? Or when I'm standing in shallow water? I can't use a weapon when I'm just outright swimming. Ah, well. Questions for another time, perhaps. So, anyway. Anyway, I need to go north and then west through the Ruto Canyon Mine, through this little area, etc, etc. 
basically I have to go towards the Bandon Lanayru mine, but then keep heading west instead of going north. But as I was saying earlier, yeah, I'm just not an engineer. Every time I try to build something sophisticated, it doesn't work. And I've basically given up on it. All right, then. close to the ceiling here. And that's one of those buildings that lets you ascend up to the surface. Okay, so we've got a light route here. Near one of those Zora statues that I was following before. How are we doing? Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. So we want to head west and ever so slightly north until we get here to the Ruto Canyon Mine and then just keep on heading west from there. about right. Okay, we want to follow the Zora statues for the moment, but only for a little while longer. Well, looks like there's some silver moblins down there now. I remember attacking and looting that camp the last time I came through here. <laughs> I was trying to uh, pull out the paraglider, but my blasted oversized thumb hit the wrong button, as it so often does. <sighs> I swear, even with the Pro Controller, the Switch controllers are just too small for my hands. The Wii U was a failed console, but I gotta say, the Wii U gamepad is probably my favorite controller ever because it was just so big. It's nice and big and it fits my hands. Okay, so here we are at the Ruto Canyon Mine and we just want to head west from here. Is there any uh, mining I can do while I'm here, though? Looks like the Yiga guy I killed last time I was here has never respawned or whatever. Eh, there are a couple ore deposits, but I'm not seeing very much. Eh, oh well. Let's get what we can and then keep on going. And... Hey, what else am I carrying this rock hammer for, right? What is that? Oh, it's a bright bloom seed. Is 
That Yiga guy who was here before must have put it up. I have so much Zonite. I really ought to go to the various, you know, central mines and trade it in for, uh... for um, crystallized charges. Okay, where's... Right, that's where I need to go. Because that's where... I oh wait, the eager guy is here! Kill him again. What was I using before? This thing, I think. Researcher. Yeah, when they don't have a name and they're just researcher, then it's a Yiga guy. Uh, you, you scared me. You could have been a Yiga clan member coming to take my life, or worse yet, my ore. Jeez, give a guy a break already. Scary enough just working down here. Um, so are you also here to investigate the ore in these mineral deposits? Ore? Yeah, this stuff here. Yeah, thanks for the free ore, Yiga Spy. I mean, that's some pretty weird ore, right? I've never seen it on the surface. Those ore deposits over there are chock full of it. Given the gouged out terrain and all the tools and structures we found, I think this place used to be a mine. Ah. It's the same for the other huge valleys, too. It's just a shame we have no idea how to use this ore. But you have no need to know, do you? Ah. Because right now, you're looking at the ego who will take you down. Ah. I'll have your life! <laughs> I one-shot him. Wow. That was pretty pathetic. I'm even even given that I have a pretty strong weapon here. Okay, so I need to keep heading that way. Kind of in a pretty deep uh, hole, though. Oh, there's more ore over there. Almost missed it. Uh, no, not that. That! I've definitely already been here before, because otherwise there would have been a treasure chest here. Okay, so back to the other weapon. Hmm. Okay, let's actually start going that way and then sort of swoop around. <laughs> Because starting by going west, that's not really going to work. And also, let's get back into the zone eye gear. Where was it again? Um, where is it? There it is. Up. There we go.
That's better. Oh no, that... Okay, where exactly do I need to... Okay, yeah. I am going the correct direction now. And over this ledge, there should be another rather deep hole in the ground. What's at the bottom? Where is this exactly? Ah, okay. I do believe that that is where the Divine Beast the Zora's Divine Beast, the elephant, was standing after I finished that part of Breath of the Wild. Oh. Almost smacked right into the wall there. What is down here? Okay. Ah, just a Zonai equipment spot. Is there anything interesting here? Eh, fairly standard stuff, it looks like. I can make another air bike, but I don't need one yet. Hmm. Alright, guess I just gotta keep going back up. <laughs> All right, now where exactly? Okay, so I need to go start going Northwest. Okay, there's another light route off in the distance. I figured there had to be. And an enemy encampment. Tabal Grove. I forgot to put a bright bloom seed on the front of my air bike. I need a headlamp down here and I forgot. Big brick. There we go. There we go. I was going to say, we have a big flat plane here, but no, that's actual water. That's actually water. Huh. Well, let's... Uh, turn on the much larger light and see what there is to see. Huh, there's another Zora statue here. Okay. 
So my goal is a little bit to the east from here in that uh, grove of trees. Okay, this is just... I was going to say, it kind of looked like a goddess statue or maybe a bargainer statue, which it shouldn't have been because I found all of those. But it just looked weird. And there's some Zora statues pointing north. That's interesting. I wonder what I would find up there. Okay, there's a shrine right there. Hmm. There's something interesting looking right there. Hmm. Well, I want to go back to the Tubal Grove and find that treasure. And then I'm kind of interested about going around here and lighting up that, because that's kind of weird. But that first. Okay, where's my air bike? Okay, this looks like an alternate route where the Zora statues could have brought me from. I wonder where they lead over that way. Well, I can ponder that later, but for now... an ever mean, isn't it? Ow! Didn't quite stick the landing. I was right about that being an ever mean. Okay, I need a different weapon. Uh, do I have an axe? No, I do not have an axe. That's not so great. Um, hmm. I do have a fireball producing device. Pick up that bomb flower before I accidentally blow it up. Huh. It cannot go over my air bike, so that's a good way to... There we go. Okay. Those are also ever means, I'm sure. Sea Breeze Shield. Defense 65. Wow. A shield said to have been the favorite of a hero who traveled the open seas. It was apparently a family heirloom passed down through many generations. Huh. Oh, I missed him. What's that shaking? The world was shaking for a little while, huh? Are you not never mean? Guess you aren't. The way you're quivering makes me think you are, though. Ha!
it. He's gone. Hey, drop some uh, zonite. Didn't work. Okay, let's just get going. All righty. So there was something to the West? Okay, there's the light room. Okay, yeah, I wanted to go north through that... Through that, uh... Passage. To see about that... Tiny... Uh... Dark area. Right here. Another light route over there. Have I been to that one? No, I haven't. How far away is it? Uh, pretty good distance, actually. But, hey, I'm... No, I don't want to edit the pen. I want to mark that there's a shrine here. Okay, fine. Right. It's actually a bit... About the same distance as the one I want to go to. But... I mean, that's the one I want to go to, so I'll go there instead. Uh, air bike. What? Ah, oh, for the love of Pete. Fine. Why did they not come up earlier? Kind of weird. First the Bokoblin and then those guys? Oh, a Pebbit. Hi. <laughs> right then. Let's get out of here. Wait a second, what's that on the ground? Oh, just a boomerang. Taking a picture of a boomerang? I probably have. Yes, I have. Okay. Some monster camps here. All right, so there's a light route. Fortunately, this time I have a headlight on my air bike. Okay, let's kind of take a circuitous route down to it. Not perfect. I ran into the side there, but eh, good enough.
This actually didn't take me very long. Maybe I should go back to the uh, other one I saw way off to the west then. Just keep opening up the map. Why not? Oh, looks like there's a boss arena literally right next to this place. I should, you know, do a flyby. Or heck, just walk up to it. Hmm. hmm. A bunch of sludge. Interesting. I get the feeling that this is a clue. I think that means that when I do the boss of the Zora area, the water temple, I presume, the boss of the water temple, I'm going to want my Gibdo killing device with the hydrants on it. I get the feeling that's going to come in very, very useful. There we go. Traveler Spear Plot. Okay, I've already got that. Yeah, my Gibdo killing machine with the uh, uh, all the hydrants. I suspect that's going to come in very, very handy when I meet the boss of the Water Temple. Okay, where am I going exactly? Okay, I want to go more west than south. No, nope, no. Nope. Actually, I should put that there. Oop, the mini map is wrong. There we go. Up into the wild black yonder. Let's avoid the uh, Zappy bat lightning keys. All right, how are we doing? So if I just go more or less directly in this way, I will reach this here. Yeah. Pretty close to perfect. Alright, that light route up ahead must be where I'm heading.
right. Good landing this time. Oh, Goma. Again. Huh. I'm tempted to go fight him, but I'm... I've spent far longer down here in the depths than I wanted to. got ourselves a little dead end here. Interesting. Not too surprising considering all the water up on the surface, but still interesting. Ah. I remember seeing this chasm before, so this would have taken me right down on top of Goma almost. Oh, and look at this, a Yiga place. Oh man, I'm, so there's so much to distract me here. I need to get out of here before I completely forget everything. Okay, that air bike has served me well. But it's time to go. Terrytown. I wish there was a closer uh, shrine than this. Though now that I think about it, in Terrytown, that jerk who's running the tram station has a shrine stone sitting next to him. I remember that. Maybe I can steal it from him somehow and take it to a shrine somewhere. Gloom spawn rumors. There are reports of animated patches of gloom known as gloom spawn. If you meet one, watch out, as some have claimed to see something strange and fearsome within them. Hmm. Are we talking about those hands? Dream home, sun and... Okay, let's get on some better clothes. And... There we go. Oh, don't want to... Let's be civilized about this. Uh, hey, hi, hello. Are you ready for all your habitation dreams to come true? You're in luck. We're building dream homes. Grantesun. This plot will soon be a first-rate home with sweeping views of Akala. A dream home of this caliber comes with a hefty price tag, but I assure you every rupee is well worth it. Mm -hmm. To learn more about this incredible opportunity, just head northwest to Terrytown and visit Hudson Construction. Huh, okay. these things. 
Oh, I have eight of them. Wow. I'd forgotten how many I gathered. Oh, look, it's that guy who's collecting those bubble gems He's off in the distance there. Ah, finally on the second line. What am I going to do? Hi Hudson, it's been a while. Oh, it's you. You were kind enough to visit our shop, and yet I haven't been able to show you much hospitality. I'm sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, it's sun and done. And here I am, president of the company. I'm supposed to be strong and decisive. But when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. Yeah, tell me about her. I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife, Romson. But Madison is... Well, soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Gerudo Town. The Gerudo have a law that says they can't associate with men until they come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine while they're very young, but when they start to become more... aware of the world around them, someone comes from Gerudo Town to pick them up. I've been told that for a Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honor. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off, but I... I didn't realize this would be so hard for me. Ah, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too, what with preparing Madison for the move. She's so busy I can't. she can't even take work requests. Mostly I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. Okay... Alright, so it's not just, you know, going on some kind of journey. She specifically is going to Gerudo Town. Hey, Ronson. It's been a little while. The Gerudo region doesn't get rain, so she won't need any of her rain gear. It's hot during the day, of course, but the nights get cold. I should pack some warm things. Oh, oh sorry, I was distracted. I was just thinking about what I should give my daughter before her big move. She's been doing so much between making friends with the villagers here and studying in her room. I want to support her however I can. I'm sure she's already gone to bed by now, though. Once she's off on her journey, I think I'll start accepting dream home requests again. I'm sorry, but I hope you can wait until then. Ah, okay, so that dream home thing What's his guts over there talked about. I have to talk to her, but I can only do it after Madison is on her way. Hmm. I want that. You have a a uh, quest request symbol over you. Uh, I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. Gotta hurry and find some sucker to. Hmm? Heading to the construction site, eh? There's a small fee to use the rail car. I'll collect that for you. Twenty rupees, no exceptions, but you only need to pay it once. One fee, unlimited rides. That's a bargain. How about it? Um, actually, what's that rock? I've never seen the likes before. Oh, are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole, I mean, I took it as a memento. But if you're interested, I would consider selling it. For you, a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? Um, not for that price. In that case, how about 80 rupees? That's a one-time deal only for you. Uh, a one-time only deal just for you. Can you go lower? Hey, what are you doing? Um, Ruli appears to be somewhat upset. Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I'd call 60, no 50 rupees more than a fair price. But, but, I already said an absolutely fair price, and he might have... Okay, no need for the stern wife look. 
Uh, well, what do you say? It's a real deal at just... Just 50 rupees. Sure. What? He's actually going to buy this weird rock I found. It's my lucky day. Uh, that's great. You have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock, so you've made a wise purchase. And now this rock belongs to you. No refunds. I'll place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to his new home. Okay. But where's the shrine that it goes to? Oh, okay. There we go. Follow the beam to its end. Blah, 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 blah. Get up. Okay. The problem there is, where is the cave entrance? Is that it right there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, there has to be a cave. Problem is finding it. this too. Uh, hmm. Blast it. How do I get the rock over there? Okay, let's see. Is there a good way to take off from here? Okay. This might do as a takeoff spot. <laughs> All right. It's kind of narrow, but that might do the trick. chasing his tail. Okay. Let's see if I can make it work from here. So, a wing, some wheels, a couple fans, and a steering stick. And that battery. Too narrow, the wing can't fit through there. Darn it! Where can I get a good takeoff? Uh, going through the front, perhaps?
That's not gonna work. Need a bigger area. Is that Madison? Uh, that's a kid, but it's not her. Yikes. Oh, calm down. Uh, I don't think it's going to fit through here either. Nope. Blast it. Uh. This is getting irritating. Alright, so now the problem is, where can I get a good takeoff? Okay, if this person wasn't in my way, I might be able to do it here. Okay, turn sharper. Okay, battery's gone. Should have put on the Zonai armor. Oh ho! It's right out in the open. for the crystal, yada, yada, yada. easy enough. I gotta say, I was hoping that it would be a little bit closer to Terrytown. <laughs> yep, I already found the light route down below. Okay. Well, okay, what have we got in here? Up, oh, just Raru's blessing. Presumably. 
Yeah, I don't see anything hidden underneath. Oh, oh another diamond. Excellent. Just in case, put a better weapon on. All right, we're fine. Travel medallions. I have three of those and I haven't placed any of them. You know what I should do? I should place one in Terrytown. Then I wouldn't have to worry about getting a shrine in the blasted place. I did a lot of exploration in the depths, finally managed to make it to Terrytown, and got that shrine. Hi, Ruli. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. Dream home's the envy of every son. Uh, oh, my, excuse me. Do you have business with Hudson Construction? Uh, Thank you for buying that weird rock. It took up a lot of space and didn't serve any purpose, so I'm glad it's gone. But enough personal chat. Do you have business with Hudson Construction? Unfortunately, Hudson and Madison are a little busy. Busy? What could you ever mean? Mm -hmm. Just between you and me, since Madison is moving soon, she's been spending her days cooped up in her room on the second floor studying in secret. I heard she's learning Gerudo, you know, the language they speak in her mother Ronson's hometown. She's got quite a backbone, doesn't let her mama and papa see how hard she's working. She's so young, but so diligent. My daughter, she... oh, her name is Honey. Anyway, I wish she'd study as much as Madison. Oh no, this is none of my business. Please forget everything I just said. Well, all work and no play makes Honey a dull girl. You know how it is. Anyway, let's have a chat with Madison. This is her room, I guess? They were saying she was upstairs. Wow, she is young. And the thing is... If parents speak their native language to their children when they're really young, then they'll become fluent in it. So, you know, if you've immigrated somewhere and then you have kids there, speak to them in your native language and the local language, and they'll be bilingual. That's, you know, there's literally centuries of evidence to prove that. Uh, Madison, how go? Good morning is Savata, good day is Savak, and goodbye is... What is goodbye? Huh? Don't frighten me like that. For a second I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. I'm doing all this studying because I'm moving to Mama's hometown soon. Where she's from, there's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I've made it my mission to memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to give a lesson to Granny Monari. You should come too. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. For this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. Sure. It's a 
about the end of the episode, but I guess we can at least get started on this. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes immigrants are worried that their kids won't be able to assimilate, so they don't speak to them in their native language, and then they don't learn it, and... Yeah. I was never in that position. But I've met people who were and who wished that when they were kids they could have learned it naturally and then they're trying to learn it later in life and just feeling kind of inadequate about it. I hope Madison has it easier than that. Granny Monari, Savak. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? Hey, <laughs> hey, of course. And it's a special occasion, too, because a new student is joining the class. Okay, now pay attention, Granny Monari. It's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What's the Gerudo word for Granny? Granny and Gerudo is... Hmm, what was it? I think it's Vaba. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. You're doing really good. Maybe you've done this before? Ah, yes, Vaba. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, now there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown. So if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to think of a way to help Papa. Hmm... <laughs> I got it. Papa is always so busy, so I'll just make it my mission to help him with his work. Okay, I'm going to ride the rail car to the job site where he does all his work. Oh, Madison, she's had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she, she, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Hagee was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole lot harder to catch a ride. Has to be a way. I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site and help him get his work done. But I forgot that guy won't give me permission to ride unless I pay him. I never had to pay until he took over. I guess I'm going to have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. But how am I going to do that all by myself? What I need is for, is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Okay. Let's see. I saw some interesting stuff over here. I can fit this around him. There's that overhang. He so it might not fit under there. Ack! Hey! Go for it. You can go now. Huh? Mister, did you do that? I'm kind of nervous about it, but I trust you. I'll run straight there.
Um, let me on too. No, I won't have to pay. I did it! My Miss Sun was a, was a success! Yay, I can finally get to Papa. Okay, I'm off. He's gonna be so happy to see me. Thanks for helping me with my Miss Sun. I wanted to ride the rail car. Greedy guts. Now I just have to use the paraglider. How boring. For rail car repairs and reconfigurations, see Caretaker Grayson. Use it whenever. Son and done. Hey, it's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Terrytown? If you're going there, the rail car right in front of you should come in handy. Rail car? It's a suspended cart that'll take you from this workshop to Terrytown, like son and done. It's President Hudson's pride and joy. It doesn't cost anything to use, so use it whenever you like. If you want to move or stop the rail car, just strike it directly. All right. You don't charge. Lately, folks have been into affixing decorations and weapons and shields and such. Turns out most of them can't deconstruct what they've done, so my brother Pellison started a business to do it for them. He gets it done, son and done. Give it a shot sometime. Well. Ah, there she is. Well, we've gone a little bit over time here, so I'm going to end the episode. But it's been pretty productive. We explored a fair amount of the depths, and uh, came up here, got that new shrine opened up, and got Madison started on her way. Yeah, it's always a sad thing when children leave home like that, but, well, it happens eventually to everyone. And we gotta keep on helping her, I think, but in the next episode. So, until then, thanks for watching Let's Play Tears of the Kingdom, and I'll see you next time.